everyone and today I'm here to react to episode 7 of season 5 of Drac. Actually I'm thinking there's 10 episodes to this season. I haven't seen like that officially confirmed but I haven't heard anything but that so this means that we are getting towards like the end of the season and I'm gonna miss Nora so much. A few of you guys were saying that like they haven't like officially confirmed the season 6 but you guys were saying that like there have been like rumors that like they've been filming and they've been seen around filming and I'm really excited because I love the new group and I'm really excited to see more of them and for them all to get a season. So last episode we saw that things are getting pretty rough for Nora and I'm really hoping that this episode I mean episode 7 is usually when 7 and 8 is like when they have like that big emotional moment like you hit kind of rock bottom and then 9 and 10 is when they start kind of building back up so I feel like this might be this episode might be where like she hits her rock bottom or you know maybe it's like she hits her rock bottom and the next episode is like her like pulling away from everyone and then 9 and 10 is her finally getting the help she needs just because I feel like she can't hide this for much longer so we'll see oh, poor Nora she just looks so like out of it and sad and I feel so bad Oh, look who finally showed up. <laughs> She's just like, everything okay? Can you act like yeah, you care for five seconds, Zoe, please? Why does she say it like that? Get over yourself, Zoe. I like fluctuate back and forth between my thoughts on Zoe. I don't think she's a bad person, but I do think she's kind of selfish. <laughs> you should never, ever Google your symptoms. Like, the worst possible options are going to come up. But I mean, she tried to go to a doctor and they didn't do anything literally for her, so. It's so sad that we can't have a Halloween party this year because Halloween parties are like staples in the Scott universe, you know, like seeing all the outfits and stuff. But it's for a good reason, so. What is she supposed to be, Constantine? <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never been able to make my hair slicked back wet that easy. Ew, what is that? <laughs> Imagine just walking on the street if you see that. I'm like, woof. Oh, it's Halloween, okay. I really feel like she shouldn't be out. Like, it's just so overwhelming. She's not safe by herself. <laughs> I mean, I guess that works. If you get a little blood, you're just like, what the hell? Poor Nora, because it really shows like she's trying. She's going out. So it's not like, you know, with mental illness, you can just get over it and go. Like, she's trying and it's not working. It's making things worse. Is that her mom? I thought maybe she would call Kiki, but that must be her mom. Oh, maybe she just wanted to hear her voice because she hasn't seen her mom in like two weeks, right? Poor Nora. We really, really, really hope she gets the help she needs soon because it's just so hard to watch. They do an amazing, amazing job of making you feel like what she's feeling, though. like the overwhelmness and the sensory, how it's just like over the top and stuff. Like, it's a really good job. She's trying. That's when I feel bad. It's like she's reaching out to things and she's not getting an answer for any of it. Oh, he's so happy, but she just doesn't feel good. He's gonna know something's up, though, because he's so, like, considerate. Remember when she wasn't feeling good the first time? <laughs> he's singing for her. I feel like either him or the girls are gonna be the ones that are, you know, gonna push her and help her to get the help she needs. At, at least see her in the right direction. I feel like she doesn't know where to look right now, but she is trying. Which I like a lot because I feel like so often, oh, she's forgetting, yeah, she's just kind of out of it. No, but I was going to say I like that so much because I feel like a lot of times, oh, he's so cute. You just see like a portrayal of like, oh, they don't want to get help, you know, but it's like she's trying to get help and she can't find it. So I really like that because I feel like that's a lot more realistic for the average person's experience to be like yo there's something wrong with me i know there's something wrong with me but everywhere i turn no one can help me you know oh my gosh the school i forgot it looks just like my elementary school with the cement walls Ooh, ko commented on her picture there are definitely if ko's in main or i don't know how you say her name i'll learn if she's main um if she's the main or fato i feel like it, one of them is going to be the main next season and it'll be about their awesome relationship Oof, poor nora Oh no. Oh gosh. She's gonna cry. I feel so bad. Ava has her own issues too. I love Ava, but I feel like Ava gets like super like takes things too personally, you know? Like she's like, I don't think Nora likes us. She doesn't like hanging out with us, blah blah blah. Cause she was already doing that way before like before Nora had like the issues with stuff. 
Uh, it's so hard because it's like, oh, backward shot. It's like she feels it and I feel like she feels all this pressure to be like, I want to just seem like I'm normal because then it'll make her feel normal. But I feel like the more she can't and other people start to see it, the worse she's going to get, you know? It's like what we learned about in the Isaac season of SCOM where it's like, you know, people are bridges and I feel like right now her bridges are kind of getting closed and, you know, everyone's like an island. You need to connect to other people. I feel like she can't feel those connections right now just because of what she's going through. So I don't even know what the treatment would be. I have to look that up myself for like people are saying depersonalization, desensitization. Oh, just therapy. Okay. So she might not even need medicine. She just needs someone to talk to. Okay. Oh, she's trying to do meditation. Been there, girl. Meditation doesn't actually always work for me, which is like weird because I know so many people use it for anxiety. But for me, when I start to focus just on my breathing, like that freaks me out. I don't know why for some reason. Like it works better if I just don't think about it. <gasps> don't do that. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that like, that's a real candle, right? That's not like the freaking uh, battery ones. Or is it maybe? I don't know. No, because she's got a lighter for it, so. Which who in this day and age has like a stick? I've only ever seen like a giant stick like that to light a candle at churches. Please tell me you sent the pictures at least so your friends aren't mad at you. Oh, what is this? Oh, well, she's all in black. Oh, gosh. Dumb and dumber are right here. Why is he saying hi to her? Walk away, please. Did he literally just ask her if she wants a drink, probably knowing that she doesn't drink because she's told him multiple times? So, wait, why are you never here and now the one time you are here, you bring your friends? <laughs> your strange merch thing. That's kind of rude. Backward shot. It's not her fault either. No, it's not. Like, I'm glad she's stand she's gonna like stand up to her fully one day and I'm so glad for it. Don't say it like that. That's so rude. That's so rude. Ooh, what did she say? They showed it so fast that I didn't really hear. Hey, it's great to have fine alcoholics in the house again, right? <gasps> oh, she's pissed. I don't blame her. Zoe, like, I have such back and forth issues with Zoe. It's like, on one hand, I don't think she's a bad person, but she's just so, like, I don't know. She's taken, like, her, like, like, I've said before, she has every right not to be around the mom, and it's not a good environment, but she's taken that to, like, this point where it almost makes it selfish. Like, she's like, you know, I'm not putting up with anything, so she's not willing to compromise with anyone. And, like, the way she was talking to Nora, like, to be like, you're acting just like mom is awful. <laughs> if you know what they all went through with the mom, why would you ever ever think that's an okay thing to say? Because you know it's just made to feel, make her feel guilty. And also, she's never around. We've never seen her at that house. Maybe she was staying that one night because she was there for Halloween. But other than that, she's never there. So now to be like, I guess she didn't think they were going to be there. So she was trying to make it around Nora. But for the Nora to be like, hey, can you guys leave? And her to be like, <laughs> what? It's just so awful. Like it makes me want to just like Oh, just yell at her. Why? Why? What? Is there a law against it, sir? He's the worst. They're the worst. <laughs> so their Abby is next year or is it two years from now? Oh no, what is it? It's just a white little thing. Ooh. I mean, it was an honest mistake. Ava and Malin need to calm down. Like, they stress me out. I get where they're coming from, but, like, <laughs> if you were her friend, like, I feel like you'd notice that something's up. Backward shot. I think that's where, again, though, the point of view comes into play. Because, like, we know what's going on with her. They don't. And it makes me really defensive of Nora when, like, Malin, they're just so, like, hard on her, I feel like. Like, especially with, like, the COVID thing, like, Malin kind of flipped out. I feel like Fato is the only one who can keep it, like, chill. Again, I'm not blaming them because they don't have a clue what's going on. So, like, obviously that wouldn't be fair. But I just feel like the way that they don't try and talk to her, aside from being like, do you not care about this? Like, they're not like, what's going on? Like, it seems like you aren't, like, fully invested. So, like, I feel like there's just a better way to talk about them, you know? If it isn't obvious by now, I get very defensive of Nora. <laughs> I'm not saying she can never do anything wrong, but I just feel like she kind of has the deck stacked against her right now. So leave her alone. <laughs> Backward shot with Josh. Oh, she looks so miserable. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. 
I've been waiting for that since episode one. Finally, someone asked. Wait, is she going to walk away now just because he asked? Oh, no, she's just getting up to get some air. She avoids everyone in school, though. At least he's, like, acknowledging that, like, you know, it's not her. What is she doing? Is she serious? Nora! Whew. Aww. She's always the one that gives her a hug when I'm like, someone please hug this girl. I know she can't feel it, but like, hopefully the, just like the idea that someone's there for you and comforting you will bring her some kind of comfort. <sighs> oh, the poor thing. Josh, is your mom a psychologist by any chance? Because that would work out really well for us. Man, he scared the crap out of her, I can tell, with the roof thing. Oof, that is just, they do such a good job of portraying it because it's hard to watch. Oh, poor thing. It's all lies. Oh my gosh, this poor thing. Like, how long has this all been on her mind? Where's her phone? Did she drop it? Oh, Josh, honey. Thank you. Did he hear all that? Because, I mean, if he heard all that, I feel like he's going to be like, we... We gotta get you to a different type of doctor, you know? Oh! Like, I just want someone to realize she needs, like, a therapist. Oh, I love him so much. She especially, like, she should not be on her own right now. Like, it's not safe, you know? Like, I'm not saying she hurt herself, but I'm saying, like, because she doesn't, like, feel anything. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't gonna know if she burned herself. She isn't gonna know, like, if there's a car coming or, like, it looked like she was gonna walk off the friggin' roof right there, the way she was stumbling around. So I'm so glad that he's there for her, and I think, you know, it's not gonna be easy, but hopefully it's gonna be something that they can figure out together. I really hope, because it's just been, it's so stressful, I mean, to watch. I can't imagine, like, how Nora's feeling and everything, and she's ruining these friendships that she worked really hard for and loved so much, and the stuff that she does care about, like, she can't bring herself to care about, not because she doesn't want to, but because she physically cannot feel for it. So I just feel like, I really, really, yeah, hope that next episode is better and it's her. I'm not expecting her to be, like, fully recovered, but at least, like, making the steps to reach out to the right people who will help her. Maybe calling Kiki and being like, I need help. Standing up to Zoe a bit more, you know, with the Constantine stuff and stuff like that. And I feel like just, sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> and I feel like just having Josh be like, I'm not gonna leave you alone and I'm still here for you is a really, really great thing to see. So I like this episode. It was really hard, but I do like that you know, since we weren't allowed to have an Evan season in any of them, but people have been really wanting a season focused on mental health. I like that this is kind of their way of doing that, you know? It's not obviously the same thing as Evan, but it probably is similar feelings and stuff to what he was going through when he first discovered that he was bipolar and stuff like that. So I really enjoy that. It's a good episode. It's a good season, guys. Like, I highly, highly recommend. I don't know why you would be here at the end of this video if you haven't watched any of them, but if you haven't, watch it. It's really good. So if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments. Also, make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!